Hello, this is TechMate88, and I'm showing a new type of very easy to develop slime farm that I've worked on over the past couple of days. So, as you probably know, slimes can spawn in swamp biomes. The typical way that you do a slime farm is you have an iron golem, and the slimes will be attracted to the iron golem. In fact, it seems like every mob is it'll attack the iron golem. Uh, I can take out some of these over here, and then you can see the skeleton attacks it too. And that would normally be the problem with this type of farm, is because your iron golem would eventually die, and this would become a very expensive farm. If you're even less lucky, one of these skeletons will hit a creeper. So yeah, I can hit a creeper, and I'm going to make it not blow up. But yeah, it'll hit a creeper, and it'll start blowing up stuff. So here's what uh, typically would be spawning around the area. A whole bunch of different mobs. And now what I can do is teleport down to the exact eye level of this iron golem. And if you look around, you can't actually see any of the eyes of the mobs. Uh, you can see the Endermen, but I guess they don't attack the Iron Golem. If I summon in a slime, when that jumps, it's just high enough that it can see the Iron Golem. So this is the only mob that seems to just naturally jump up to this height. It seems to get its eye level above any other mob. And this is the behavior that this mob farm exploits to make a very, very simple mob farm. The skeletons have a fairly high eye level, but they can't see it. They can see the white box, but not the red box. That's the one that's important. There are a fair number of blocks that you can use to get various heights that you might want to use in a farm like this. And I've laid out what I know of here. And this is the actual order that they're in. So if you look at the Y value right here, uh, 0.0625 and then 1 eighth, and then a little bit higher, then a little bit higher. This is a unique one, the uh, three snow layers. A little bit higher, four snow layers, but also the sea pickle and the, uh, the daylight sensor. Next one is uh, five snow layers, which is a half block, so that's easy to get. Uh, another unique one is six snow layers, uh, then seven snow layers, which is the same as an enchanting table, eight snow layers, which is the same as soul sand and a chest, and then uh, farmland, which is uh, 0.9375, so probably about 15 sixteenths. But the ones that I ended up using, which happen to be just quite cheap, are the trapdoors and the chests. And that just happens to get the eye level right exactly where you want it. And this is in 1.13, of course. I think that the eye levels change a bit across versions. So in versions other than 1.13, this may not work or it may need tweaking. And there's obviously problems of raising and lowering the iron golem. Like if you raise it too much, it might not see the golem, or might not see the slimes. As I was saying earlier, this is quite easy to build. You don't have to light up any caves whatsoever. You have an idle position way up here. I can go up to it real quick. So you would sit up here, and that means that the only places entities can spawn is within a 16 block radius if you stand exactly on this chest and I'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, so the next thing is that it has it requires minimal resources. I wrote down some of the resources back here. Most of the the collection you'll have to do for this is iron to make the iron golem. So if you have a villager way to make iron golems that might be a little bit easier but I think this is reasonable. Uh, then you need 12 trapdoors to go around the top, and then you need 
Uh, you need four chests for the iron golem to stand on, and then you need probably one chest on the bottom to uh, put a hopper into. And then you need some building blocks. You need to actually get up to that Y level. So the last point I have written down here is that it's equivalent to about four, slayer, uh, four layers of slime chunks, and that's when you light up the caves perfectly, because when you're running a, a slime chunk spawner, uh, you have to light up a ton of caves because you're working from Y level 0 to Y level 40. So I don't know exactly how big that, that is, but it's pretty big. There are a few caveats to this system and one that you probably don't know of even if you're like a professional minecrafter is that the slime spawns and swamp biomes are dependent on the moon cycle so the full moon is optimal it'll give you 100 percent of the spawns and a new moon is uh, it'll give you zero percent of the spawns another small caveat which you may know already is that slimes only spawn Y level 50 to 69. This should be taken care of if you just build this on the ground, which is how I would recommend building it. Another caveat is that this can only be a single layer. You can't really expand this in the future. I mean, you kind of can, but like if you build a second layer, you're going to have skeletons, like even if they can't see this iron golem here, they're going to come in here and then fall down and they will be able to see it for a brief moment. There might actually be a way to expand this in the future. I haven't actually tried it yet, but uh, like if you lower your spawn or your AFK height down just a little bit, you can get a larger radius down here where stuff will spawn. Then you can set up a kind of grid pattern of these iron golems. Like I think you would probably want like an equilateral triangle like one iron golem here, then one up here, then one over here. And then you would have an idle position right at the middle of that triangle. And uh, you would space these out so that iron golems don't have to travel far before they can, or sorry, slimes don't have to travel far before they see an iron golem. On the actual construction of this, uh, this mob system, uh, you have to pay close attention to the Y values here. So I'm at Y level 65, and then this is a, um, let's see, 10 by 10 area that I've carved out here. And there's slime blocks all around here, and the slimes, of course, fall into this, and they die, and the smaller slimes can't get out. If you tried to raise this magma block level a bit higher, which you can try, uh, the medium slimes will be able to jump out just because they start out with they get pushed over when they spawn and they might jump the other way and then they can jump out oh yeah you can see that did that now but there are reasons that I have it on this level and no lower and yeah even that time it didn't matter but the yeah the medium slimes they can't actually see the iron golem I'll spawn in a medium slime now, and it's just going to hop around. It can't quite get up to the right height to see that golem. And that's not a big deal. The big slimes, are they account for all, basically all the slime drops you're going to get. So then uh, there are half slabs here on the bottom of the iron golem cage, and then two blocks, and then the trap door, and then Again, he's on chests. And then below this is just a standard kind of collection system. There's just one single water source on one corner, then on the opposite corner there's a hopper below that block. And that'll just, of course, push the items into that chest. The last bit of construction stuff is that you shouldn't even have hills like this here. This should be removed. Just cut it down to the same level that you're building the farm at. Uh, that would be Y level 65. But that's not even a huge issue. As long as you have this uh, 16 by 16 area clear, then no, like, the skeleton, if it's spawned up here, like, it can't even see the iron golem because it's 16 blocks away. The last bit of construction is to make the player AFK spot. 
and you want to come 126 blocks above the spawning area. And that's very important to get that number right. So that's uh, 65 down there. And this is 191, and that's 126 blocks above the spawning layer. And then you want to build a chest on top of that. So now I'm at 126.875 blocks above that. And the reason for this very particular height is this actually restricts the spawning area to a radius of about 16 blocks surrounding the iron golem. So those slimes that spawn down there will be instantly able to attack the iron golem. They'll be able to see it instantly because they jump instantly. And you may want to try and tweak this. I didn't really do any testing to see which is the absolute most efficient height. Like the, the slimes, they might be able to spawn outside that 16 block radius and jump in to the radius and then get attracted to the iron golem. And then, of course, above that, you want to have just some blocks just to keep the phantoms from spawning. You do need glass below you, or you can use normal blocks, but with glass you can see stuff and the reason for that is because skeletons will actually try and attack you from way down there uh, if I don't have the glass here you'll be able to see them shoot arrows way up and then they'll occasionally hit a creeper and then you'll get explosions and you'll have to keep rebuilding your farm I know spreadsheets aren't the most interesting thing in the world in a minecraft video but I just wanted to show you this to show that I did it um, so what this can do, you can set your AFK height, and then you can look at the spawnable area on a certain ground level. This actually did come in handy when I was looking at the lower layer, the, uh, the level of the magma blocks. So this 5x5 five five area, it would actually be 10x10 10 10 in real life. Uh, it's actually going to have a corner where stuff is going to despawn. I don't think that's actually a problem because the slimes will be actively pushed toward the wall. Uh, th this would be the cage with the, the iron golem in it. So they wouldn't tend to be that way. But if you lower yourself onto a half slab, it will cover that square or even an enchanting table. So if you remember earlier, I said you can't make that, uh, that magma block area too deep. And the reason for that is if you, that would be Y level 63. So if I do that, the slimes will all instantly despawn in this area. If you don't want to do the calculations in a uh, using math and stuff, you can also test it in Minecraft itself. And what I have here is just a little testing rig where I can look down at the slimes. You can actually see the size 3 slimes from way up here. And I'm going to go up very slightly. So, um, and you can see that the ones on the left are despawning instantly. And as I go higher, more and more will despawn. So this is a way to visualize this. And now I'm just completely out of the range. So if I stand on a half slab, this is actually what I think is optimal now, despite what I said earlier in the video. So if I'm on this, you can see that the, the spawning radius ends right about there. And that gold ore block, that is 16 blocks away from the iron golem. So, yeah, that's that's a pretty good radius, or maybe you're on the glass, but yeah, just what's inside these command blocks is, of course, just spawn a slime at level 65, size 3, uh, summon slime. And then uh, another one which you want to get right is you just want to teleport them away. Uh, right before you spawn a new set of them so that you don't end up with just tons and tons of slimes on the ground and yeah you want to use teleport not kill because kill will split them up into more and more slimes and you'll get a million entities and a lot of confusion I hope you found this video interesting and I hope that if you try it, it works. And remember, this is tested in 1.13 and 1.13.1. So if you do a different version, you may want to try it in creative first.
And at the very least, you want to test the eye height of the iron golem. Make sure that only the big slimes are attracted to it, because if any other mobs can see it, you're going to get problems.